Good afternoon. Um, <laughs> I have not vlogged at all today. I have just been, yeah, not vlogging. Just busy and craziness and yeah. So I'm starting the vlog <laughs> and it's pretty late. We already have Koi Koi home. There's Brackers and there's Jackers in the back. Jack, what are you doing? crazy kid we're stopped to get me a coffee so that I can function the rest of the day and he's just exploring the car I guess I don't know so um, yeah I'm just beat tired and I'm having the girls over tonight and so I need some energy so that I can make it through the evening with my girls um, coming to hang out and doing nails and just chilling, eating some chocolate, eating some fudge. Yeah, I'm gonna make fudge and I'll show you how a really easy, yummy way to make homemade fudge is. It's so easy and I so like good. Those. I just realized I've had my diaper bag, the same exact bag, for seven months. I think that's a record for me. <laughs> I usually change them out quite often, but I love this bag. Like, it's hardly showing any, like, wear and tear or anything on the handles and it's just amazing it holds cloth diapers which is important to me um for in a diaper bag because it holds it all and i just love this diaper bag i it was totally worth the investment for sure my husband wasn't sure if it would be but i love this thing it's like my baby it's time to fold or to stuff diapers i just finished washing diaper laundry and now I got to stuff the diapers and then I snap them shut so that they can fit nicely in my the coffee so they can fit nicely in here like I just line them up so um yeah I got to stuff diapers so that I can get them to fit in there diapers that we have are actually in here except for the ones he wore today so we have clean diapers now and look what I just found in the bottom of the diaper basket our lost keys we lost these keys like probably a month ago <laughs> and I'm just finding them now but I never use my entire stash in two days um, and I do diaper laundry every like I go two days and then do it, and so I never use all of them. I just kind of rotate them out. Hi. What do you say? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Um, we never ever use all of our diapers in the two-day period before 
I wash again, so I just kind of rotate them. So I stick a stack here, use those, and then I'll use like part of this. And then when I wash, I kind of pull some more out and then use those. And that way they're kind of evenly getting used. But this whole row up to this one has never even been used yet. Um, just this one, these, and some of these have. And I'm just kind of rotating through them. But anyway, I'm glad we found our keys. They were right like down there. <laughs> so yeah. Hi baby Ninja Turtle. I love you. Jack, shh. You're being loud Shredder. I am just about ready for the girls to get here. They should be here in like a half hour. I just got out of the shower. The boys are already in bed. I've just been cleaning like crazy and sweating like crazy because it's so freaking hot in my house. Um, but I'm grateful for my house. <laughs> but it is very hot. Um, and very humid lately. I don't know why, but it really is. Um, any poodles? I'm just emptying the dishwasher and I'm going to load it again and then I'm going to go do my hair. So, super fun. Um, and then also I'm going to make a treat. I'm going to make my mom's fudge recipe. It's so good. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. My mom doesn't always do this, but I'm sticking coconut in the bottom of my greased pan. Then I have a cube of butter, or a stick of butter, whatever you want to call it. It's a quarter pound of butter. And then I'm going to melt in one bag of chocolate chips. I'm using the Gardelli milk chocolate. You mix that in until it's all the way melted smooth, like completely smooth. Now that our chocolate is completely smooth, and turn the heat off. I did like a four, so it's like a low medium heat. Turn the heat off, and then you're gonna add one can of sweetened condensed milk. It is 14 ounces size. Mix that in until it's smooth. Okay, it's all mixed in, and as you can see, it's starting to like pull away from the side of the pan. That's good. That means it's ready to go on top of the coconut. I just set it in the freezer for probably about a half hour and it'll be ready to serve. Yum!